What is up, yo? Oh, it's your boy. Three, two, one. JMP coming at you with the reaction. You feel me? NBA Young Boy interview with Elliot Wilson. All right, man. So we got the goat of our generation coming at us with an unusual interview, man. So let's see what we can get. We're gonna see what we can possibly learn from young boy you feel me i mean shit i don't expect to learn like a whole fucking dictionary but we'll see what we can learn let's see what we get this is the title check-in interview so top man coming off the top bro that album was gas album was gas man just like all of his projects shit the next project will probably be in a few months fuck you, man, but you got the number one album it's yeah. third number one in less than a year. Exactly. Boy, boy, exactly. Exactly. In less than a year, bit. And he had a fourth. A fourth project in that span, too. What's up, baby? Cool. How you feeling, man? That looks like a, a Victoria shirt right there, man. Look, the drip is amazing this morning, man. How you feeling? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of ice on my feet, but... Okay, yeah, I feel bro, man. I mean, for him, it's something, it's come to the point, man. Young Boy's been doing this music shit since 2015. Clearly, he's acquired the effortless trait. And we see a lot of rappers nowadays acquiring that so trait, the effortless trait. So, this shit's not really too much for him. I mean, what seems like a lot, which is four projects in a span of, like you said, less than a year. That's just showing his work ethic, you feel me? It's not really, like, something special to where, like, yo, like, dog, like, do you have time to celebrate? Like, what you do? Like, like, man, of course, I be cooling. I mean, I feel bro. I mean, I'm sure if Young Boy's project does good, he'll probably roll up a fatty or he'll do something like that. He'll pour up whatever. He'll celebrate like that, you feel me? But it's nothing too crazy at this point of his career. What's the point? Like, at this point of his career, young boy, he's branching out to other shit. He's recently got a gaming team. He's really having that money business mindset, so. Respect to the Tupac picture in the back. Rest in peace, Tupac. Shit. Different point. I mean, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a random person with my music. Like, I just go out forever and feel or whatever the situation is. That's the king. Um. I like this guy, Elliot Wilson. This is my first time seeing Elliot Wilson, but Elliot Wilson, I wish I could pat you on the back, or I wish you could do the same. I know you can't hear me right now, bro, but fuck, yo. I like this guy, yo. <laughs> bro, shit. Let's take this back, yo. Oh, that's such the that's such a young boy response, yo. As long as you get it, you enjoy doing the most when you make the music. Yeah. Say it again. Word. <laughs> <laughs> young boy got that straight face the whole time. He's dead ass. He's dead the fuck ass. Uh, 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 make you feel comfortable going that direction. That's what I'm into. That's my life. <laughs> Elliot Wilson, dog. Um, oh, you made some different moves. Like, I want to talk about collaborating with Snoop Dogg, man. We were surprised to see, you know, you and the OG. Like, nobody saw that coming. Like, why, what made you connect with Snoop? I'm from the scene, bro. It was really like I was doing the song, and it was just the song, I did some creating shit. And I just felt good in front of the album, and that's what it was. Yeah. Shit, young boy, man, I mean, he really does have that presence. I mean, 
he was heavy with Birdman, and I'm just saying Birdman because he's an older guy up there. He's an OG in the game, but yeah, he has that presence, man, and clearly Lil Wayne. Before that Lil Wayne feature that we got on this project, we actually did see Diamond Teeth Samurai, which was in Remembrance. In Remembrance, they're fucking, like, sampling fucking The Block is Hot from Lil Wayne, so... I know, I know you did the nickname uh, was Lil Top coming up, like, and you yeah. called him Diamond Top, like... What made you call it top? Is that also a statement of just kind of where you feel you're at in the game? Or what was the significance of calling out yes. top? Good question, Elliot. Good question. Good fucking question. I mean, 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 I Good answer. Good answer, Why? I can't keep up with the projects, man. I can't keep up with it. Damn, Elliot Wilson, the fucking... Get it up! Get your shit together! Get your act right, bro! How can y'all keep up? That's your fault. And I think what's great about this, again, like, you, you continue to, like, I also feel like when it's either you, the records that you have features on, or either your guest features, like, you seem very selective of who you do music Facts. Is that, is that fair to say? Yeah, it's fair to say. Like, what is it about, like, you know, certain art, like, what And that is what I'm saying! Ding, 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 ding! That's what I'm fucking saying! He hit the nail on the coffin. When I say that, yo, we got a young boy feature. Oh, we got a polo. We got a little baby feature. Little baby and polo, they're in the same young boy tier, ladies and gentlemen. But that's like the proof on the pudding that they don't do features with just an average Joe. So when they do a feature with someone you don't know, you're being put onto that rapper when you're hearing that feature that that so rapper's doing, little baby, polo, little baby, you see what I'm saying? You following my drift? Thanks. What makes you feel like, you, like I like the joint you did with Amigos? Yeah, that shit was fine. You know I need like in the future with the tree and joint. Like, what you have to genuinely like fuck with the person? Like, what makes you feel like you want to collab with somebody? All right, good question. It's, it was it was sick. It, that song is sick. I ain't even really big on features at all. That shit though. I only like the main new friendships or even you know. Yeah. That hey, you gotta stick to yourself, bro. That's a it's a clear young boy trait. You know, to make conversation all this shit. Obviously, you know? man. Because I, I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's like, like look at your journey. It feels it feels very self made, right? You did it your way. Like I remember just always hearing like, you know, this is independent artist. He's out there making moves, and he's like. Running YouTube, like, he's the biggest artist on YouTube, but he ain't even got that backing yet, like. <laughs> I wish young boy was independent, bro. What do you think it is that's helped you, you know, make that connection with your fans and reach that sort of massive audience? Well, I mean, what I mean by independent, I mean by, like, label. I wish he didn't have the label issue, bro. To understand you. YouTube. It makes sense for him in his shoes, though, to do the label shit that he did. It made sense. I mean, come on. The only platform that I could just run to, man. And drop and let you, you know, just get whatever it is, like ASAP. You ain't got the access, you know, the platform. People yeah. really like to downplay his YouTube success. YouTube is easy, that's how. And I'm out, I'm out, he's doing shit. Young boy got the schmigger at. Without it being kid, anyway, so most of the time he can't go for sale. YouTube is the only place that he got to go out for sale. Also, you know, like, I know you talk about, you know, your kids and how much they play a role. I know, I think I saw an interview you did that with uh, Angela Yee when you have uh, four boys. And now you, you say you always wanted a girl. Now you have some girls, man. What yeah, it's what that been like for you? Just the, the responsibility of fatherhood. It's amazing. But you want to know something? I don't think I should say you. I ain't. Okay, let's see it. I ain't really big on spending time. I, I look, if it looks like this, too. Oh, to I ain't really big on that. What you mean, spending time? Yeah. Yeah. I'm always on the go. Hmm. Yeah, that's something that really fucked me a lot, bro. Hmm. Yeah, you don't need to spend that much time. That's... Damn, man. Sheesh. So that's just... That's taking a dive... Dive into it. Young boy, you feel me? I mean, shit, on some no weird shit, but damn, I mean, yeah, that's that's a pain right there. Yeah, he doesn't have all the time, he doesn't spend all the time with his people that he wants to, you feel me? But, sheesh! So, 
That's why I thought it was cool. In case you talk, like, you see, you see how your kids in the video, like... Yeah, I mean, that is that is awesome that young boy does do that with the videos, um, having his kids in there, but damn, hearing this, and ha he really j said, I don't know if I should say this, but he did tell us, that's one of young boy's pains right there. What is five that song? Did he even put it out there like Casey Tom? You know, I couldn't get him to stop crying, so I had to hold my recording. Wow. Damn. But it ain't no man. My kids are amazing. Is that that also? I'm sure helps also provide that motivation, right? To go so hard. And all this, you talk about living in the woodlands and you know different places. I know, like, came up in the back rooms. What's it like to be in a hometown and how? Facts, facts. Good question. I can't say, man. Still, like, I'm still at home. Mm. I'm still at home, man. I live, I, I, I live in the woods, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I can't lie. Okay. I'm still in the woods. Okay, so he stays in New Orleans. So he has a place in New Orleans. I to enjoy it. I mean, shit, at this point, young boy gets all that shit. I mean, come on. I don't care what it's on, even if it's something for me. So what's your goals at this point, man? Like, what do you feel like you still need to accomplish? Like, I know I've seen interviews in the past, you said... You ain't really about that, like a whole 10-year run, you know, like, like... Yeah, facts! Facts! Hit the nail on the coffee! Let's go, Elliot! Okay, good-ass question! I'm really anticipated and curious for this response. Say that again? You ain't really about that, like a whole 10-year run, you know, like, like, what do you see... I'm never successful until I've grown to see my children successful. Hey, that response, yo, I'm kind of confused about that response. So is he saying that he's in this shit until he's out? Like, you know me? Like, Man. is he in this shit for good? Like, what? Nah, this show, this show, I'm quite lost. Every time you know, we're getting talked about, we're getting talked about. Do you, do you feel like, do you get, like, in the hip-hop front, do you feel like, you, do you feel competitive, like, when people mention, like, who's really killing it out there, or say, like, the baby, or Roddy, or little baby, like, do you like, say, 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 it ain't, it ain't, nothing, it ain't, you can never compete with the person who ain't competing, you know, like, yeah. none of them people determine, you know, I don't determine, you know, what they gonna do, you know, like, what they, you know, what they making, all this, you know, concern on, concern on what's going on, yeah. And anything different, I don't know what to say about different shit. I ain't know. You just want to go away. Facts, okay. I like that response, bro. I mean, that, none of that shit's going to make him lose any sleep. You know what I mean? I mean, he just, <coughs> he just made it known that none of that shit affects him. I mean, that's all him. That's all them. I mean, shit's different. Like he said, like, bro, why the fuck? Would he let that bother him? Young boy's not weak like that. Hey, humble, yeah. bro. Yeah. Stay yeah. humble. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. What do you think it is about you? Like, I mean, I must go. You also talk. You think about it. Like, so many people rapping, right? Like, everybody want to be a rapper. Like, what do you think it still is with you that, like, when your connection to your fans is like really powerful? He's fucking real. That they get from your music that he's that, that fucking real. Yeah, they um um shit try to just like you know that or that or they ain't a favorite rapper shit. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, kind of shit is what it is. Yeah. This is what it is, 90%. Yeah. Like I said, I'm fucking you said you're gonna send. 
Say that again. I want to hear that one more time. Like, what do you think it is that they get from your music that, that connects to them? See, out there, um, um, she's trying to just like, you know, they're the, 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 the in the favorite rap and shit. You know, you can kind of do what it is. Hmm. I can't, I couldn't really pick up everything he said, but. Nah, young boy, it's really just for the fact that, bro, you're real, and you're the most fucking, bro, like, it's ridiculous, bro, like, dude's hating on so heavy, realist in the game, like, bro, came from the fucking dirt, like, come on, dog. Nah, no, that's a dope response, so that's a great fucking response. And big, heavy young boy fans, bro, they've been fucking with him since like 2016, 2015 type shit. So we've really seen bro grow. You feel me? So you said you were sending me the sending. Get down, lay down. Get down and lay down. Get down and lay down. That's a dope one. Get down and lay down. Keep ascending, man. I know yeah, what he's sending. I really love it. All up. Hey, Time to check in. Ellie Wilson. Young boy. Dope interview, bro. Wow. Wow. NBA young boy. Let me know. Start me down below. On the road to 1000. We had a stutter. <laughs> so. I mean, no, she thought it down below, I'm out.